Let's get more on the ECB's moves to stimulate the economy with Jeffrey Borneman, founder and CIO of investment firm Rampant Portfolio Partners. Jeffrey, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having me back. So, Jeffrey, ECB president has really gone all out here. Draghi has cut all three of the ECB's interest rates. He's also expanded quantitative easing or bond buying, and that will now include debt issued by non-banks, so other companies as well. He's really firing the big guns here. Jeffrey, what does this tell us? Uh, tells us that nobody really understands macroeconomic theory. Um, they're always so surprised when it doesn't work. Uh, they, I've heard it described as a bazooka. This is going to be the final. Uh, we've cut rates. Is yeah, this this will be it? And we saw how the market reacted to it. What what Draghi is doing, what the ECB is doing, is trying to address demand through monetary policy, and it just it can't work. It won't work. It's never worked. We see it in not only the eurozone. Uh, they just did this last December. It was three months ago. We see that it won't work. It hasn't worked in Japan, and it hasn't worked in the United States. But they, they seem to have to do something, so this is what they're doing. Well, one thing that the ECB did out of uh, the Bank of Japan's playbook, or vice versa, is uh, cut the deposit rate further into negative territory from minus 0.3% now to minus 0.4%. The idea is to spur lending and stimulate the economy. Do you think this could actually work, or could the negative interest rates just land up doing more harm than good in the long run? Uh, they're, they're attacking, that's yeah, a good question, but they're attacking the wrong problem. The, we, there is no liquidity problem. There's plenty of money, but there's no demand. So people aren't willing to borrow money to, to put it to work and, and to sell a product because there's nothing to buy. So they're attacking the problem from the wrong, from the wrong area. They could actually lower why, rates to why minus 5%. Why is there 5%. no demand, though? Jeff, why well, do you that, think there's no demand even at such low rates and, and negative rates? Uh, that that is the big question and that is a worldwide problem right now we have a worldwide recession and the ECB is not going to solve their problem by lowering their rates because there's nobody to sell to well you know Jeffrey the markets uh, seem to agree with you that uh, this didn't really do much they closed it down in the red so are these negative interest rates uh, really symptomatic that the ECB is reaching the limits of what monetary policy can do. Recently, we heard from the German finance minister, Wolfgang Schäuble, and he said that monetary firepower is now limited and that growth fueled by government spending alone is risking zombifying economies. Zombifying. I mean, does he have a point that we're all just numb to it all at this stage? He has a he has a great point, and uh, there are really just two tools for uh, for a government. One is monetary policy, and the other is fiscal policy. And fiscal policy being what the individual government, what checks the individual government is going to write. So when when you're out of monetary bullets, when you're out of wheelbarrows to monetize, as it were, you're left with fiscal spending, and that that has to come next. So if all of this doesn't work, Jeffrey. Uh, it doesn't boost economic growth. What's next? Fiscal stimulus, what would that involve? Uh, generally, fiscal stimulus is handing money to people uh, so, so they can keep the engine running. But generally, the best bang for the buck, pardon the pun, is uh, fiscal spending on defense products because that keeps all the engineers working and that makes a lot of toys for sale. Defense products, are you saying that uh, the European Union is, is looking for a war? I, I'm not saying they're looking for a war. Uh, I know that they're behind the ball uh, in their 2%. They're supposed to be spending 2% as members of NATO, and they haven't done it. And they've all pledged to increase their defense spending, yes. Well, let's look at uh, the growth forecast, because the ECB uh, did reduce it to 1.4% this year from 1.7%. So what is really behind the growth slowdown? Uh, the, the, the U.S. consumer, the 70 percent of our GDP, kind of ran the world. Uh, everything was geared to the American consumer. The American consumer took a real hit in 08 and into 09 and, and really hasn't responded yet. So it's the old adage when the United States sneezes, the rest of the world catches a cold. And they've done a great job of globalizing the economy. So 
they're so tied together when when a major partner slows down all of them slow down well of course you've also got uh, China what is its role in the EU slowdown China was an export economy and when we slowed down they did and they've done everything they can to shift from an export economy to a domestic consumer economy but they're they're still a, uh, at least a decade away from that 